Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create a toxic symbol effect, just like the one that you're seeing here. Okay, so first thing we want to do is create a new image, and I'm just going to make it 400 by 400, and then hit OK. Then we want to fill the background with a color, so usually gray. And then it's going to create a new layer, and then press D to reset the colors, and then X to change them over, or you can click here. And then using the custom shapes tool, if you go up to the shapes and browse through the shapes, you should have a default shape of the radiation symbol. So select that and then draw one out. So I'm just going to draw one, say, there. And next thing we want to do is go into filter, artistic, and plastic wrap, and then you just want to use the following settings, uh, highlight strength 20, detail probably about 11, but you can play around with it. So I'm going to say 11, smoothness 15, and then hit OK. Next we want to go into image adjustments and color balance, and then we just want to play around with the colors until we get like a, probably just a RNG color to start with. Um, so I'm just going to move these around just like that then highlights same sort of thing okay so you can pause and copy these settings if you like so I'm just gonna settle with those so those are the settings there I'm just gonna hit OK Next, we want to right click on the layer, select blending options, and then for the blending options, we want to select uh, drop shadow, and the size we want it to be about 20. So we can see that there, 20. Then what we want to do is select inner glow. And as you can see, it's like there. Though we want to change the color to a gray color, so I'm just going to hit OK for the gray. And then I want to change the size to about 20. And you can do it from the center or the edge, whatever you think is better. So I'm going to choose from the center. And then you can select Outer Glow and we'll change that to a greeny color so just this fluoro green here, hit OK and then the size here we want to set it at about 20 or 25 and lastly you can select bevel and emboss and for the settings here we'll select the inner bevel, smooth and maximum depth and that will give us that effect there and so I'm just going to hit OK and now what you can do here is you can go into filter, artistic, plastic wrap and you can give it another plastic wrap if you like just to give it a bit more of a f melting effect okay and I'm just going to select those settings 10 4 14 hit OK and then what we want to do is go into image adjustments hue and saturation then tick colorize uh, increase the saturation change the color to a greeny type color just like so you can turn the lightness down a bit if you like give it a bit more of a glow and that's basically it. So I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.